Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about measures of position of ungrouped data. So let's start with quartiles. Quartiles are score points which divides the distribution into four equal parts. As you can see in the illustration, each part contains 25%. So the score points are the first quartile, the second quartile, and the third quartile. So, Q sub 1, Q sub 2, Q sub 3. Q sub 1 is also known as lower quartile, and Q sub 2 is also known as the median or MD. Q sub 3 is also known as the upper quartile. So, Q sub 1, if we are going to interpret, 25% of the data has value less than or equal to Q sub 1, or 75% is above Q sub 1 or greater than or equal to Q sub 1. For Q sub 2, 50% of the data has value less than or equal to Q sub 2 or the median. So 50% is less than or equal and 50% are greater than or equal to Q sub 2. For Q sub 3, the interpretation is 75% of the data has value less than or equal to Q sub 3. Since if you are going to add 25, 25, 25, total of 75%. Or 25% is greater than or equal to Q sub 3. The difference between the third quartile or Q sub 3 and the first quartile or Q sub 1 is called interquartile range. So the formula is interquartile range is equal to Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. So let us have example number one. Consider the scores of seven students in science tests. 3, 13, 11, 11, 5, 4, and 2. So calculate the first quartile or Q sub 1, second quartile or Q sub 2, third quartile or Q sub 3, and interquartile range. So first step is to arrange the data, the observation, in ascending order. So when we say ascending order, from least to greatest value. So let us have the least one, two. Next is three. Next one is four. Next one is five. Next one is 11, also 11, and the last one is 13. If you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our N is equal to 7. So our data observation is 7. We can easily identify the middle value or Q sub 2, which is the median, since the, that is between the least value and the greatest value. So, as you can see, if we are going to separate the values, so we can easily identify the Q sub 2, or what we call the median. So now, the first quartile, we can easily identify the first quartile since, as you can see, uh, at the left side of Q sub 2, which is 2, 3, 4, the middle value is 3. Therefore, our Q sub 1 is 3. So next one, at the right side, the upper quartile or Q sub 3, we can easily identify the Q sub 3. The middle value is 11. Therefore, our Q sub 3 or the upper quartile is 11. Now, for the interquartile range, we have to subtract or find the difference between Q sub 3 and Q sub 1. So, IR is equal to Q sub 3 minus 
Q sub 1. That is equal to 11 minus 3. And that is equal to 8. For example number 2, Gab asks his 8 classmates at random about their ages. The result were 10, 13, 14, 15, 12, 13, 11, and 9. Find the value of the first quartile or Q sub 1, second quartile or Q sub 2, third quartile or Q sub 3, and the interquartile range. So first step is to arrange the data observation in ascending order. So list two greatest. First one is 9, next is 10, next one is 11, 12, 13, next is 13 again, 14, and 15. So let's count 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. So n is equal to 8. We can easily identify the second quartile or Q sub 2 since it is the median or the middle values. Since n is equal to 8, the middle values are 12 and 13. So, we have two values or two middle values, 12 and 13. Between 12 and 13, that is equal to 12.5. Therefore, our Q sub 2 or the median is 12.5. You will observe that the score points below 12.5 are 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, we have four scores. Above 12.5, we have 13, 13, 14, and 15. So we have 4 scores. So to find the value of Q sub 1 or the first quartile, that is between the least value and the Q sub 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what is between 12.5 and 9? So that is 11. So our Q sub 1 is 11. So for the upper quartile or Q sub 3, that is between Q sub 2 and the greatest value. So 12.5, 13, 13, 14, 15. So the middle value is 13. Therefore, our Q sub 3 or the upper quartile is 13. The method we use here is the Mendenhall and Sensich method. So, if we're going to check if our answer is correct for Q sub 1 and Q sub 3, let's use the formula Q sub 1 is equal to 1 times 8 plus 1 all over 4. Since in quartile, we divide the distribution into 4 equal parts. So, 8 is the number of observations. So, we have n is equal to 8. So, if we're going to add 8 plus 1, 9 times 1 is equal to 9. Divided by 4, that is equal to 2.25. So, according to the rule, since we use Mendenhall and Sensich method, 2.25 is decimal. So, we round up into the next integer. So, 2.25 will become... 3 or third value. Therefore, our third value is 11. So, Q sub 1 is 11 using Mendenhall and Sensich method. For Q sub 3, we have the formula Q sub 3 is equal to 3 since we're looking for the third quartile times 8, the number of n or observation, plus 1 divided by 4. 
So 8 plus 1, 9, times 3, 27, divided by 4, that is equal to 6.75. So according to the rule, whatever the decimal you get for the third quartile, you have to round down this to the previous integer. So meaning it is the sixth value. And the sixth value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Therefore, Q sub 3 is 13. So again, we use Mendenhall and Sensich method. So now let us find the IQR or the interquartile range. So for interquartile range, we use the formula of Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. So the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. Q sub 3 is equal to 13 minus Q sub 1 is 11. So 13 minus 11, we have for example number 3, calculate the lower quartile and the upper quartile of the given data observation below using linear interpolation. So 85, 96, 76, 108, 85, 80, 101, 85, 70, and 97. So again, we have to arrange the data in ascending order from least to greatest. So we have 70, 76, 80, and the next is 85, 85, next is 85 also next is also 85 next is 96 next is 97 101 and 108 if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So n is equal to 10. We have 10 observations. So when we say linear interpolation, we are looking for the exact value of the lower quartile and the upper quartile, including the decimals. Especially if the location or the computed location is also decimal. So, let us use the formula. The formula for the location is Q sub 1 is equal to 1 since we're looking for first quartile times n plus 1. n is the number of observation or n is equal to 10 all over 4. Since quartile, we divide into four equal parts so substitute the formula so that is 1 times 10 plus 1 all over 4 so 10 plus 1 11 times 1 that is equal to 11 divided by 4 11 divided by 4 that is 2.75 so again don't round off or round up this computed value if this is decimal since we're looking for exact value using linear interpolation. We all know that 2.75 is between second and third. So this is between second and third. So second and third value is 76 and 80. What is the exact value using linear interpolation between 76 and 80 if the location is 2.75 so let us solve that is equal to second value so let us separate 2.75 second value plus so 
0.75. So again, this is the location. We separate the decimal and the whole number. Second value is 2, 0 0.75. Then 0 0.75, multiply it to the difference of the second and the third value. The second value is 76 plus 0 0.75 times the third value is 80 minus the second value is 76. So now, 80 minus 76, that is equal to 4 times 0 0.75 plus 76. So again, 4 times 0 0.75, that is 3, plus 76, that is equal to 79. So therefore, Q sub 1 is equal to 79. As you can see, we don't have 79 here. But using linear interpolation, we get 79. Now, let us solve the value of the upper quartile. So, the formula for the location is Q sub 3 is equal to 3 times N plus 1 all over 4. So, 3 since we're looking for the Q sub 3. So, let us substitute the value of the formula. So, 3 times... N is the number of observations, so N is equal to 10 plus 1 divided by 4, all over 4. 10 plus 1, 11 times 3, that is equal to 33 over 4. So 33 over 4, if we divide 33 by 4, that is equal to 825 so again, 8.25 is decimal. Don't count off or count up since we're using linear interpolation. So again, this is between 8 and 9th value. So 8 and 9th value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 97 and 101. So, what is the exact value between 97 and 101 using this location 8.25? So, let us use linear interpolation. So, again, 8.25, let us separate this location. So, the whole number and the decimal. So, this is 8 value since between 8 and 9 plus decimal which is 0 0.25 times the difference between 9 and 8 value so 8 value is 97 plus 0 0.25 times what is the ninth value that is 101 if you count that is 101 Minus 8 value is 97. So 97. 101 minus 97, that is equal to 4. 4 times 0.25, that is equal to 1. Plus 97, that is equal to 98. Therefore, RQ sub 3 or the upper quartile is equal to 98. As you can see, we don't have 98 here. The exact value of the upper quartile or Q sub 3 is 98 using linear interpolation. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learn, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell na all for you to be updated on my latest video. Bye. God bless.